I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin, and today I'd like to show you a Gliga Gems 2 violin that I recently purchased. So Gliga violins are handmade in Romania, and what I really love about this company is all of their options they have. They have options for lots of different sizes, lots of different appearances or varnishes, and all different levels of quality. So I purchased the Gliga Gems 2 which is not quite their entry-level beginner violin, but a few steps up. And this violin is a 7 8 size, so it's not quite a full-size violin. And I really love this size because I have small hands, I have small arms, and I've always been on the lookout for a 7 8 but they're a little bit rare, they're a little hard to find. But Gliga has these harder to find sizes, so if you're maybe looking for a violin for a teenager that's not quite grown, or if you're an adult with smaller size hands, this is a really good option. So Gliga also offers lots of options for upgrades when you purchase your violin. So when you decide kind of what line of violin you wanna buy, they have different levels of quality, then for each size, you can pick different varnishes. So I kind of went with a standard varnish, but you can get a lighter color varnish or an antiqued varnish or if you're into painted violins, they've got something for you too. So they have lots of options for appearance. But then they've also got lots of options for upgrades. So you can get standard strings or you can upgrade the strings. Uh, you can upgrade the tail piece. Um, you can upgrade the bow or the case. So I went with the standard everything just to try out the very basic level. So I got a violin, the case, the bow, and shipping for about $318, which I think is a really good price for this quality of violin. My violin arrived pretty quickly. It was well packaged when it came in. The case is a good student case, um, and the violin was set up and ready to play out of the box. Needed tuning, of course, but uh, the strings were the correct tension, uh, the bridge is the correct curvature, so it's easy to play. Um, the pegs work well, they don't slip, they stay in tune, the fine tuners work well. And as you can tell, just the quality and the finish is really nice, I think, for this price point. I've seen a lot worse quality for a lot more money, so I think the quality, the varnish, the finish, it's really beautiful. And even just as you hold it and look at it, you can tell that it's not cheap. It's something that is well made. So I got the standard Brazil wood bow. And normally for this price range, wooden bows are generally less quality than carbon fiber bows. But again, I wanted to go with the standard everything just to see how it performed. So this is the Brazil wood bow. And I was actually really surprised. Most beginner student violin bows, they're, they're just awful. This part is plastic and the glue often comes off and it slips all around. But as you can see, the winding is actually very nice. Uh, this is mother of pearl. This all works nicely. Um, and the bow actually performs pretty well, I think, for the price point. I think a beginner violin would be just fine with this bow. There are some other upgrades you can make. You can either get the rosewood bow, I think, as the next level up, or you can get the carbon fiber for a little bit more. If you can, I would go with the carbon fiber bow. Generally, at this price range, carbon fiber is the better way to go. So I would, I would be really interested in trying those better bows. So the standard strings that come with the Gliga, at least for the beginner range violins, are Romanian steel strings, and they left a lot to be desired. So I would definitely choose the upgraded strings. Now they have a couple different options for strings that you can choose. I put on Eva Perazzi's uh, pretty soon after I got this violin, and it made this violin completely different. It sounds wonderful. I didn't even want to play it with the other violins because uh, I think it would give the violin um, not the best sound it could possibly have. But with the Evas, these makes it a totally different violin. Um, so definitely upgrade the strings. If you can't go for the Evas, they're pretty expensive. At least go for dominance. That would be my next choice. So let's hear how the Gliga Gems 2 actually sounds. What I'm going to play for you is some short little selections so you can hear the various ranges of the violin. I'm going to start off with open strings. Then I'm going to do a scale just in first position. And then instead of playing a lot of flashy pieces, 
Uh, I'm actually going to play some songs that someone interested in a Gliga Gems 2 price range might actually be playing. So I'm pretty sure if you're looking at a Gliga Gems 2, you're not going to be playing Mendelssohn Violin Concerto, so I'm not going to play that for you today. violin is a great violin. It's especially a good violin for beginner students. I love that you can buy everything standard if you're on a budget and then make upgrades later. Or if you can, upgrade the strings, get dominance or evaporazis, upgrade the bow, get a carbon fiber bow, and then you've got a really good violin, a really good outfit that's going to serve a beginner for many, many years. Gliga also offers lots of different lines of violins and they go up in very small increments. So if you want to pay just a little bit more, you can get a little bit better violin. I've actually tried the Gliga Gamma line before, and it's a great violin. It is one of their top of the line models, but I thought it was comparable in many ways to my much more expensive personal violin. So this is a brand that I really enjoy. I've enjoyed playing with. They're easy to work with, so I would definitely recommend giving them a try. You can read my full length review on my website, meadowlarkviolin.com, and I'll put that link below. And if you're also interested in Gliga, they do offer a coupon code. I'll put that link below, and you can also find it on my website. I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin. Happy practicing! <laughs>